Welcome back to Far Off Grid. I know it's been a long time. Uh, apologize for that. We just had so much on our plates. We had so much going on. We had a hard time keeping up with with uh, videoing our progress. But I know that a lot of you that have been following our channel have seen these pictures before of how bad the property was when we first purchased it. But just for reference, thought we would just walk through these real quickly and take a look at where we began with this property it was I you know bad is not really the best word it was pretty disgusting really uh, you know the the units were bad at a level they had never been leveled before I don't believe no porch on the back at all that that was safe to walk up and down uh, the insulation coming out from under the the unit all of those things we had to get fixed and this is our solar shed and it didn't look too good there but it was a nice concrete slab but you can see the panels the old panels they had to go and the roofing was in bad shape and it was really disgusting inside um, man it was awful and so this is our well house or our pump house um, all of that was in disarray so we had to fix all that but praise the Lord once we hooked it up to got it rewired and hooked it up to our generator uh, that fresh water from the Coconino aquifer came pumping out and we were very happy this is inside the house nasty soot from that uh, wood burning stove I guess uh, just soot everywhere um, very filthy hard to believe that somebody actually lived in this place but they did uh, just a few years before we got it, two or three years I don't know how long it was you see the cabinets and the countertops uh, really gross to be honest the bathrooms were the worst really disgusting as you can see in these pictures the carpet the bedrooms the closets this is the master bath really really disgusting well despite all this disgusting stuff that we had to deal with one thing that was so nice was the peace and quiet and the beautiful views sunsets sunrises just spectacular and the cactus flowers all the different flowers that we saw out here and the the uh, petrified rocks and our petrified wood and rocks and uh, this purple grass that grows out here it's really beautiful and we're in a higher elevation here 6200 feet or so and so we do get snow and this was the largest accumulation that we've had thus far it was about uh, 12 inches we lived in this little 25 foot camper when we first moved here and we got right to work scrubbing the walls and the cabinets and ripping the carpet out and and uh, cleaning the ceilings too and um, just uh, a lot of blood sweat and tears went into fixing this place up this is our where we ran our our water and our electrical from our pump house and and uh, to our shed and to our house from the solar system and it wasn't too long until we realized that we needed to get back to Georgia and get some more of our stuff so we flew out and picked up our 2001 Toyota Land Cruiser and our 18 foot trailer there and loaded it up and this is an aerial view of our property with all the property lines and we got right back to work when we got here back here from Georgia and we you know working on the floors a lot and we decided to go with something unique on the main area the living room area and I'll talk about that a little bit more in a few minutes but it turned out really really nice And this is our house now I mean what a transformation brand new metal roof on all of the outbuildings the Kwanzaa hut is already metal so it didn't need anything as far as that was concerned but we put um, a lot of effort into repainting everything and uh, putting uh, a porch on the front covered porch on the front and a deck on the back you'll see all of those things here a little bit more in a minute this is the front of the house 
what an amazing transformation. It's just, it's hard to believe it's even the same place. We have a, a solar system that's just wonderful. I'll show you that in just a few minutes. How do you like those little flower boxes on the front? That's a nice touch. You can plant whatever you like there. And we're going to go into the Kwanzaa hut first, which is a garage now. We've finished it out to make it a garage. And look at the transformation here. We haven't done a whole lot as far as rebuilding, but we've cleaned it up and we opened this wall up, put in the garage, that this whole wall there and put in the garage door. It's good size. It's a little over eight feet wide. I'm sorry, nine feet wide and eight feet tall. And you can easily fit a full size crew cab truck in there. And the, the ceiling height in there is at the very peak, about 12 and a half uh, feet. And the, the, the door is a sliding door, so it's nice. It slides out of the way. And then you have the man door also. And the building is, the Kwanzaa Hut garage is 24 by 24. And so is this pad, this nice concrete pad out here. It's 24 by 24 as well. Makes it nice to wash your vehicles or work on your vehicles, work on different projects, whatever. Or, you know, just want to have some friends over and pull up some chairs and sit out there and enjoy the views. It's just beautiful, beautiful here. I can't emphasize that enough. The long range views, you can see mesas off in the distance and different mountains and plateaus. It's just, it's really breathtaking. It's, it's nice, very nice. Uh, we're going to go inside here in just a minute, but I wanted to show you the other side of the house and the shed that we're looking at right here in a little bit more detail. Um, you can see up to the left solar panels up there. Those go specifically to powering our water heater. And we have a DC element in there, and so the sun just heats up our water in our 20-gallon water heater, and it works very nice. Okay, so this is our, our shed now. Quite a, quite a transformation. That's our 500-gallon water tank. So we pump from the well into the water tank. At a, all we have to do is flip a switch because this amazing system right here Oh man, it, this was the biggest game changer of all uh, when we w were finally able to put this system in. Those are lithium ion batteries. They come out of the Tesla Model S vehicles. Just an endless amount of cycles, thousands and thousands of cycles that you can get out of those batteries. I believe that will outlast me and probably anyone else that purchased the property. The inverter is a 4,000 watt inverter. It is a dual phase, so you can have you can run 220 off of it, which is what we use to run the well. And the batteries they hold over 10,000 10,600 watts of storage in those batteries. So uh, we have never had a problem. We've never had to fire up the generator not one time since we hooked that system up. It's just been awesome. Okay, so this is our water system here. We have a filtration system. We have the on-demand. Uh, water pump that is powered by this system and um, it's a it's a separate solar system from our other system and it just goes to power the the water pump now you can do more with it than that and you can plug in and, and run power tools what have you it's a nice little backup system uh, our generator is a 5500 watt generator and like I said before all of the wiring and the plumbing and everything is run underground uh, out here to the pump house so this is inside the pump house now okay so this is the back of the house and you'll see that there's a little clothesline there works wonderful with this dry arid climate we can put clothes on the line and within no time they're dry we have a gas um, tank there that's a 100 pound tank we have two of those that goes to to uh, operate our stove inside and also our gas heater our secondary source of heat our gas heater inside the shed is all insulated and paneled inside and this is our solar array those are eight 
327 watt panels so that's over 2600 watts of power and that little panel there that you see that one is hooked up directly to that, that secondary solar system that runs the, the on-demand water pump. Okay, so we're going to walk inside the house here in just a minute. We're going to go up on the, the brand new deck that has just been finished. And um, again, I can't say it enough. The views are just amazing. You can sit out here and enjoy that. Uh, we put, you know, all, me all new metal roof, of course, and uh, all new gutter system and paint and uh, hardware on the doors, all of those things. Coming into the laundry room here, ceramic tile floor. There's a pantry, a secondary pantry behind the door there. That's nice for extra storage. And then addition to that, we have uh, this little storage broom closet. That's also where the, the water heater is. Immediately to the right when you come into the kitchen area is our primary pantry there. We have the island with the the sink and this is just a testament here as to how good our solar system is. We can run that toaster oven anytime and the blender, any appliances. That's our gas stove and also the backsplash is slate tile and it's just beautiful. This is our gas heater and that's our secondary heat as I said. We normally use the wood burning stove which is out in the living room area. That's the dining room area of course. We have the slate coming in to the main uh, front entry there, kind of a little mud area for you to sit and change your shoes. You can get a good look at the ceramic tile there and it's also in the the secondary bath there the hall bath and there's our wood heater over there in the corner and then just check out these beautiful floors they turned out so nice so that is a paper bag floor what you do is you wrinkle them all up glue them down to the floor and that gives all the little veins and everything in the in the flooring and, and it kind of gives it a leather look. We actually stained ours. You don't have to, but we stained our, our um, paper first. And then we came back over it with polyurethane. Eight coats of poly on this. So it's very durable. That's our top load wood burning stove. Works excellent. Has the slate around it just like the foyer there. A lot of scrubbing and elbow grease went into cleaning up all the cabinets and all those things. We have a linen closet there to the left and then this is coming into the secondary hall bath. Again we have the slate backsplash, very nice. This is uh, the tub shower combo. All new toilets of course. This is the first secondary bedroom and we used it as an office. It has a nice closet there too that we'll take a look at. Across the hall we have the second secondary bedroom. Of course all the walls have been textured and um, painted. Very nice. We have LED lights in the house. This is the master bedroom. So it, it's a total of three bedrooms. Large master bedroom. It's 13 by 14 and a half approximately. Those windows over there are nice. You can open those up and get a little cross breeze going. Nice closet with a light in it and shelving and all that you need for that. Immediately to the left, going into the master bath, you see the shower. And we have double vanity. And then immediately to the right, there's a big linen closet that holds everything you'd possibly want, I would imagine. Just really nice uh, porcelain tile in this, ba this uh, bathroom as well. And you have the garden tub and... 
just really happy with how all of that turned out. Again, this is the front of the house. Just turned out beautiful. Covered porch, all new. Um, that front door, nice front door with uh, the windows to let in natural light. Just, uh, you know, just can't get enough of the, the views here. It's just spectacular all the way around. You can climb up to the... Uh, hike up to the top of the ridge there and get a, a really good view of the White Mountains and and um, it's really breathtaking and just so peaceful and quiet solitude it's very refreshing get away from all the rioting and chaos in the cities <laughs> uh, it's very sad what's going on but I hope all of you guys are doing well. And hey, if this is a, a property that's of interest to you, we are selling this property. We, like I said, we've uh, really thought long and hard about it and prayed about it. And we decided to sell this property and uh, move a little closer to friends in another part of the, the state of Arizona. But if this is something that is of interest to you, or you know someone who might, please share the video and, and like the video and subscribe if you want. And we will um, put all of the links to our, our uh, real estate agent down below so that you can contact him if you have any interest there, or you can contact us. We're happy to talk and, and share anything that uh, we can, help in any way we can. But um, hey, maybe this is the right place for you if so. Awesome. We would love to uh, to work something out with you. It's it's really it's really fairly convenient. We're about six miles off of the the main highway, Highway 61, going through Concho, and about 45 minutes to a fairly good sized town called Sholo, Arizona, and you can get all of your all of your shopping needs there for the most part. Got all of the the big box stores, Walmart, Home Depot, and Lowe's, and uh, Safeway, you know, whatever you need, a lot of uh, repair shops for vehicles, the hospital, all those things are there, and you're only about 45 minutes away, so uh, it's pretty convenient there, and, and you know, it's, you know, you're here in the White Mountains, it's just, it's a wonderful place, and um, like I said, it's it's been a real struggle for us to to let this place go, and, and um, move, but we're going to be moving to another off-grid property, that's uh, already has a dwelling on it and so we will be hopefully be able to put some videos together for you that you can view that property as well at some point but um, anyway thank you so much for watching the video and I uh, hope you have a great day see you in the next one